Hello everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program to Infinity and Beyond. We are going to be working on the Northern Lion Mark V this time. We're going to start with Mark IV as our prototype. And I said I had some good ideas for, for our progress this time, but I'm starting to think that maybe I've made a terrible mistake. My initial tweak that I was going to make to this design was going to be very, very simple. We were just going to toss a decoupler here, and then we were going to toss another solid fuel booster here and then try it like this but I think this might be too heavy the other thing we should do before we do anything else actually is tie all this shit together with struts that was not a good strut because if we don't tie it together really? that's not going to work? Uh, if we don't tie it together with struts what, what am I missing here? I, I was able to do this earlier Okay, there we go. Finally, we've succeeded. Um, yeah, the, the, these struts can go as far as I'm concerned. They're not really doing anything. Uh, we don't necessarily need struts on anything but the bottom set of solid fuel boosters. At least in my professional opinion, we don't. But these ones have a little bit of like waver to them. When we are flying, they flop around a little bit like a, like a kid putting his feet in a splash pool. Uh, and that is causing us to lose some of our, you know, totally 100% upwards momentum. So actually, let's, just to be safe, we'll try to do some coupling on the, uh, or some strutting here on the second set of solid fuel boosters. And we'll just try this out and see how it works. You know, this game is, that's a weird one. Uh, this game is all about testing and prototyping. Let's just pretend these are not real people that we're sending up into space. They're just hamsters or something. That is not working appropriately. Okay, let's grab this again. It's a little bit wonky. Remember, this game is, is super pre-alpha. Well, it's actually alpha, not pre-alpha. But it's it's early in its development. Okay, no, no, I want you to... Okay, I, I think I see what I'm doing wrong here. Let's try to come back. Let's try doing it this way. Maybe the game will understand what I'm intending for it here. There we go, that worked perfectly. Okay, so we're going to try this out. I'm going to say this is the Mark V. Iron Man got his design pretty solid before I got mine solid, but, you know, it's not a contest. Tony Stark could build this in a cave with a box of scraps. We're going to try this launch. I don't think it's going to work out that well, but if we get liftoff, there is a chance for us to break our previous best, uh, which I think is somewhere around, like, 48,000 now. So let's, uh, three, two, one. We do have liftoff. So I think this might be enough to get us... Actually, this should get us well beyond uh, our previous best. Obviously, we're lifting off a little bit slower than we did before because we've added a, a little bit of weight. Not a whole lot, though. And definitely, like, our vertical... Uh, our angle, really, for lack of a better word, is, is substantially better than it used to be. So we will... Wait for the fuel to run out. Lift off with our next set of boosters. And angle is still pretty good. Starting to tilt a little bit, but otherwise A-OK. -okay. I think that's because the winglets that I put on in the first episode are are still pretty bad. I don't think we're going to have to worry about overheating, to be honest with you. And we're at about 3,000 meters and about 100 meters per second. So hopefully we'll get even more acceleration here. Hopefully, I'm hoping with this set of solid-state boosters... Oh god, did I add, not add a coupler there? If I didn't add a decoupler there, I've made a huge mistake, and we'll have to go back to the, the drawing board. Uh, because... Oh, I don't think I did. If, if I did, that would be stupid, but we'll see. Maybe I did. I can't quite tell right now. Maybe I did. So we're up to about 7,000, and we still have another solid fuel, fuel booster. Excellent. Okay, I did. So I'm hoping that this is going to allow us... Why is this not speeding us up so much? Why, why is our... For a second there, actually for a, for a long time there, our acceleration slowed down, which which frightened me. But I think it goes without saying, we're going to get fairly high here. We're already at like 14,000. We're out of fuel now. So let's crank up our throttle and then get our jet engine started. Probably should have done that a little bit faster to, to slow down the rate of deceleration here. But we should start accelerating again very quickly. So depending on how high we get this time, I mean, we're going to get fairly close to, to orbit. Actually, we'll probably get... Let's warp ourselves a little bit faster here. We'll probably get into orbit, 
or out of the surface anyway, before we run out of fuel. And then we'll try to orient ourselves. I guess we're, we're already going in exactly in the right direction of what we want to be. I think that's what we're aiming for, isn't it, that planet? They wouldn't have made it so prominent if that wasn't what we were going for. And I guess that's one of the things I haven't had to worry about so far, but will have to worry about now that I have a decent design that is capable of getting me into space. So I'm actually going to... Let's cut the throttle a little bit. And kind of orient ourselves. Let's turn SAS off. Orient ourselves. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, SAS, come back on. <laughs> orient ourselves towards this planet. Okay, SAS on again. Good. Uh, and then we'll crank up our fuel again. And we're like 50,000 right now. And you can see the Earth is, you know, not a cold, dead place. We are going to run out of jet engine fuel soon, though. Very, very soon, in fact. But we'll see if we're we're out of if we hit escape velocity or if we're just gonna start crashing. We're gonna start crashing back to Earth, okay? <laughs> but we've definitely reached a new high here. I think this is certainly way better than than my previous efforts. It seems like I don't know. I gotta look in the FAQ and figure out now that we're actually in space. I figured it would take us like a dozen episodes just to get into space or a space-ish area. Um, might as well decouple now, because we know we're heading back to Earth anyway. Um, but it actually, we, we've done this a lot faster than I expected. So I think that was a that was a positive change in the, the design here. We're gonna, okay, we got up to about 60,000. I've, you know, let my parachute go here. But now we are basically just gonna fall back to Earth. I feel like I can end the mission. It's pretty clear at this point that unless my parachute breaks, our Kerbals are gonna survive. So yeah, I would say Mark V, definitely a, a market improvement over our previous ones. Let's end this flight. Let's say that went fairly well. We'll head back to the vehicle assembly building and make sure that I do have this saved as a Mark V. And what would I want to do now? I guess I would just want to stack more fuel tanks in here. So let's just try one more flight. We're going to stack more fuel tanks and I'll, I promise I'll speed up the process here. Let's put a big one on. This is going to be heavy. Uh, but I'm hoping... That if, again, if we if we achieve liftoff, this will give our jet engine more power. Let's just do standard three, two, what, are we going on go or are we going on one? We're going to three, two, one, go, okay. Liftoff was a little bit spotty, but we are going to get there. Um, we're going to get up in the air anyway. I mean, presumably it's worth it, even if we do have a little bit of a slower liftoff speed. Uh, because, you know, of course, we will be able to have a lot more fuel in our jet. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, that's terrible. No, 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 you want to come up, come up, 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 oh, why? Why did it happen like this? Decoupled, decoupled, get out and launch the parachute! <laughs> okay, I want to restart that flight because I don't understand how it went wrong so quick. So we'll just lift off. Or maybe we won't. Now we will, okay. Normal speed, SAS is on, so if we can adjust our angle, uh, we should be able to. It's a beautiful view, huh? Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're losing it a little bit here. I'm not sure what is causing this. It's got to be those damned winglets, doesn't it? Okay, well, you know what? This is obviously just going to crash. So let's just <laughs> decouple as much as possible. Mash that space bar. It looks like a huge flying willy. Well, yeah, well, I'm not sure what it is, but it certainly has two balls! Okay, well, we are- our parachute is burned up. This is not a good place for us to be. Obviously, those dudes are gonna get killed in action. Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building one more time. I, if this is an airfoil problem, I'm gonna be pissed off. So let's take these winglets off and see if this actually makes things easier for us. We'll save this. Uh, not as the definitive version of the Mark V yet. Obviously, we want to get rid of this fuel tank. If it's the fuel tank that's causing the issue. And here we go. Got a little bit of a chuggy frame rate. Remember, this is like super, super new. Not new, but in development. So, you know, things like performance issues. Hopefully those will be figured out. I'm running this on a pretty beefy PC, so any performance issues you see are probably the the game's fault. Not the, and, or the recording software's fault, I guess. But uh, certainly this game, although it chugs at, at occasional points, it's, it's definitely 100% playable. At least providing you have like minimum requirements or greater. So we're just going to keep going here. Got really slow acceleration from my uh, solid fuel boosters, at least the first level of them, because, you know, 
as you might expect. Do I even? I don't even think I had SAS on there. Oh, we're tilting again. This is not good. Oh, it's coming back up. We can we can salvage it. Oh, we're running out of fuel. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, now turn SAS off. Actually. Oh, this is not good. Well, we've got a, a very good X velocity here. Unfortunately, that's not really what we're looking for. Just get, move, turn SAS off. Oh god, just get out of there. The parachute, the parachute's gonna burn up. There it goes. Good night, Furson Kerman. Good night, Thomble Kerman, and good night, Ronger Kerman. You were great men. Actually, I think our our Kerbals are gonna live here. Amazingly, uh, I did not expect that to be the case, but you know, crisis averted. This might be kind of a, a hard impact. We'll see. It's faster than I would want to come down. <laughs> they lived? How did they live? I guess the SAS module blew up and everything else is okay. All right. Uh, so we'll end our flight there. I'm just going to go back to the vehicle assembly building and rebuild Mark V as I knew it before. Minus the airfoil, so we'll get rid of this. Separate. I, I want to delete only this part. Only the extra fuel tank that I've added. Sometimes this game can be a little bit spotty about that. Well, you know what? Let's let's just actually load up our previous Mark V. Let's see where I had saved it. Did I have the extra fuel tank added? I did indeed. How about we do it like this? Separate like that and like that. Okay. So this is our Mark V that set a new record in terms of altitude. We'll save this. And I will see you guys next time with Mark VI. Not really sure what I'm going to do with this one. What do I need? I need... I need to read the FAQ and figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go from here. <laughs> As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.